And we are back with Monterey on tonight, and this is my first guest of the evening. He's an old friend. When I got here many, many years ago, this became my VIP doctor. Dr. Tell Franklin, welcome. Good and you know you, what? You were on our channel with your own show yes. 14 years ago. Yes, 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 I do remember. Ask Dr. Tell. Yeah, great memories, yeah. And yeah. you had a beautiful lady with you as a co-host. Yes. Mira. Mira, she was wonderful. And yeah, she just bumped into her the other day. Oh, is she yeah. here in town? Yeah, she's doing great. She's oh, doing my great. goodness, yeah. because I thought she had moved to Phoenix. Yeah. In fact, I'll tell you, every once in a while, I bump into somebody at Whole Foods yeah. or Del Monte Center, and they yeah. say, I miss that Dr. Tell show. You know, and I just, I just have to laugh. <laughs> it yeah. was a great show. What he did is he would take questions from people. They'd yeah. call into the show, and they'd ask him a medical question that he could answer legally. But it was a great format. You did it a, a, an hour once a week. Once a week. Loved it, yeah. yeah. And then we did a great half-hour infomercial for you. Yeah, we did, yes. Yeah. Med VIP. Yeah, but that's the problem. Now I got so busy, yeah, I have a waiting list. So You got no time. You know, I got no time. So what know? happens if somebody out there watching right now wants to have you as their VIP doctor, what do they do? Do they get in line? What happens? There's a waiting list, waiting yeah. List. So you have to call the office and get on the waiting list. The phone number, for those of you, 831-647-3190, but there is a waiting list. Oh. Um, well, you can only handle so many people. Right. So that's uh, why I've kind of created... There's your website. There it is. Yeah. And that's why I've also created a web app for people. A web people. app? Yeah. Okay. So tell so, me about that. So I can load an app on my phone? You can load an app on your phone, and if you want to know more, uh, once a month, uh, the next time is June 26th, we're doing a webinar, oh. and this month it's about how to prevent and even reverse heart disease. Oh my goodness. I don't know if you know this, heart disease is the biggest killer of men oh. in the United States, and the biggest killer of women. Heart disease. One person has a heart attack every 27 seconds. Oh! And 50% of people who have heart attacks have normal cholesterol. So, you know, so not, you go to your it's doctor. It's not the cholesterol then that gets well, you. Well, cholesterol is part what of the picture. You, what, what causes this? What causes, it's like, is it, I thought the show, the show was only an hour. I need, <laughs> I need a little bit longer time. But I think everybody's different. It, the treatment needs to be personalized and individualized. Uh, we do something called advanced biomarkers. Uh, we look at your whole lifestyle. You know, it's like an orchestra. You know, it's like, how do you get the big picture of yeah. what's going on? Yeah. That's what we have to do. And there isn't, everybody wants a quick fix. Everybody wants one size fits all. But healthcare needs to be individualized for everybody. So we do that, you come in, we sit down, or you can, you know, nowadays you can do it on your telemedicine. You come to my webinar. And um, and we get all your biomarkers, and we put you through a whole program. It's 12 weeks, and you really learn a different way of looking at your life. You prioritize health. In fact, we say we put better years into your life. We say with our program, we're going to give you an extra 5, 10, 15, even 17 quality years to your life. But it's about empowering people to make better choices. Well, let me tell you something. This guy has been taking care of me for a long time, and I'm still around. Now, if I wouldn't have fallen down, I probably would have made it to 100. But maybe because, you know, I got banged up a little bit, maybe I'll make it to 99, thanks but to But maybe since you fell, it reminds you about the importance of being proactive yes. and making better choices. Yes. So you're just a little bit more careful. Well, that's true. That's very yeah. true. Because as I told you off camera, you know, I got a little cocky there. Yeah. Because I was riding pretty high, and it was like, hey, this can happen to you. This is a little bit of a warning. Look down when you're walking at nighttime in the streets of Carmel, but anywhere, really, in a parking lot going from the grocery store to your automobile. I forgot to turn on my flashlight mm -hmm. on my phone, and if I had done that, I never would have fallen. I would have seen the paver that was sticking up in the ground. But just as important, look at the shoes that you wear. True. You know, I know I went and visited my father. My father's wearing shoes that are like 
10, 12 years old. He says, well, they're good. Why do I need new shoes? Yeah, be careful. Well, comes from a whole other generation. Be so careful. Just choosing good good shoes is important. Very you know? important. But Carmel, which we all love and love going down there, you got to be careful and watch your ste- watch your footing. That's yeah, and I, and I was telling you, he knew about that. There's an ordinance on the books in Carmel that women cannot wear high heel shoes. I go, what? what are you talking about? No, it's true because... If you wear high heel shoes in Carmel and you're a woman, there's a really good chance you're going to take a spill. So the problem with falls, or the solution with falls, is prevention, prevention, and prevention. Yeah. Just thinking ahead, because you're coming out. You might have had some alcohol. I was ta- yeah. no, I wasn't drinking. I no. wasn't drinking, and I said that in the press release. I don't drink. It was I was distracted talking to my friend Mm -hmm. as I was coming out of the Cypress Inn going to the car Mm -hmm. and bingo! But if you think about it, the falls is not unlike heart attacks. It's all about prevention, making better choices so you don't have to become a victim. Just making good choices. That's what healthcare should really should be about. When when someone comes in, now they get on the waiting list to see you, Mm -hmm. what's the procedure to go through their medical history and you get your handle on what their needs will be? I heard you talking earlier with Jessica Mm -hmm. about stem cell. You do stem cell. You do do hormone. We do stem cells. We do hormones. We do acupuncture. We do bioidentical hormones. You know, I write for pharmaceuticals, but every Doctor's got a toolbox. I think my toolbox is maybe just a little bit bigger. You don't always want to go to medications. Pharmaceuticals are good, but sometimes you could use nutraceuticals, especially yeah. when it comes to you know being proactive. And, you, and, and the best medicine is going to farmer's market. There's no better medicine than going to farmer's market, the food and the nutrition we eat. Absolutely. That is really key. You know, I've got a friend who's a pharmacist, uh, does a radio show over on KSCO in Santa Cruz, and he said to me, and not long ago when he came to visit, he said, we sat at the dinner table, and then he said to me, Gary, before you put anything in your stomach, think about what you're going to put in your stomach so your body doesn't have to work that hard to digest it. Yeah. So you have something called the human biome, you know, and it's in our gut. And it really is a predictor of heart disease and dementia, cognitive decline. So really, if you can't get into my practice, find a doctor that really understands the connection between the gut and the brain and the gut and the heart. Yeah, all together. They all work together. They all work together. You know, we go to a cardiologist, we go to a nephrologist, we go to a gastroenterologist, but somebody's got to put it all together. Yeah. And that's what you do with your practice. That's what I try and do every single day. That's yes. why I'm still here, as long as I don't fall down. There you go. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here, Tell. It's been a pleasure to have you on the show. I miss those old days when you were doing the Dr. Tell show. No, we'll just create new good days. Well, well absolutely. Always good Let, to see you. Let's think about maybe getting you back on the air. Love it. Love okay. it. Great All to right. see you. And good no more you. falling. And no more falling, I promise. Okay. okay, let's get back to more ELO on Monterey on Tonight.